hi you're welcome to my channel my name is Alice Rita and if you are new to my channel you are fully welcome to my channel and to all my returning subscribers thank you for coming back so in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite recipe it's called fish bar so come with me and let's go to the kitchen and prepare this your malicious fish bar So I'm going to be using mackerel fish and this fish I bought from the fishmonger that is the man setting, selling fish in the city and uh, this fish has already been cleaned for me meaning that the intestine has been removed and now I'm just going to turn this into my sieve and quickly uh, run it through a running water just to make sure that uh, it's completely clean at least remove some of the blood <laughs> Yeah, and after washing this, so you transfer it to a clean part, you can season this fish with whatever uh, spice you like. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be using just salt and this uh, seasoning called Jumbo Aroma. You can use a Maggi or have some parsley, ginger, garlic. And then add just a few uh, cup of water. You can see I didn't add too much. And I will allow this to boil. Immediately I observe that it's boiling. I'm going to then turn the fish over so that it also um, sure that it cook at the other side. Normally you can cook that fish with more water, but I don't want a lot of water because I'm not going to be using the water later. So now it looks like our fish is ready. So we're just going to bring this out from the pot and put it in a clean plate. And we're going to allow it to cool down and debone the fish. I'm not that very patient to wait for the fish to cool down. So instead of using my hand to remove the fish bone, I'm going. To, I'm using uh, cutlery to separate the bone from the fish uh, flesh. So I'm just carefully checking this because trust me, you don't want to swallow a uh, fish bone. It's not comfortable if you do that. <laughs> Or even if by accident you're able to swallow some, it just you might be lucky to swallow it completely, and you might be unlucky that it gets stuck to your throat. So make sure to remove the fish bone like I'm doing. The reason I prefer the mackerel fish is because it has less bone compared to some other type of fish that the bones are really, really hard and difficult to debone. So, but with the mackerel, you can just remove the fin, the middle uh, bone, and that's it. So the next thing, I'm going to be pounding this fish. Yeah, I'm wondering why you, I'm sure you'll be wondering why I want to pound. It's because if you blend it, you get a different texture compared to when you pound the fish. So And to pound it, because it's a soft fish, you don't need the whole energy, like you don't need the muzzle power to do it. So just gently pound the fish. And this pounding uh, step, I think it took me about just two or three minutes, no less than, because if you just continue doing what I'm doing, you also it's interesting because you like the, you like the way it feels in the hand as you are pounding, you know, it's a very soft uh, fish. So you just keep pounding. And as you're pounding, you observe that the fish is binding together by itself. So because you are breaking down the different flesh into tiny, tiny particles. So it makes it look like it's sticking together which is what we want to achieve in this uh, pounding uh, step. Can you look, see that? So now we need to break one egg into a clean bowl. If you don't like egg, you can skip this part, but it's good to add egg because it's easy to bind very well. I'm going to be adding some cayenne pepper. Also, I'm going to add salt to the egg just to show, make sure that the food does, is not tasteless. And now I'm going to whisk this together. I'm going to be adding some ghee butter. You can use any melted butter of choice or olive oil or whatever fat you have at home. I just prefer to use ghee butter. Also, it brings some kind of flavor to the food, the ghee butter flavor. I don't know what that's, uh, I don't know the best way to describe that, but ghee butter has its own flavor. And now I'm going to transfer the pounded fish into the whisked egg, like so. And now just use the cutlery to a spoon or a fake to mix this together 
gently. I'm sure you'll be wondering why didn't I just uh, take the egg and blend it with the fish in a blender in the food processor. It's just that if you have done that and the consistency that I got was a bit uh, liquidy. I mean it wasn't it didn't incorporate like well like this. You can see how the fish is soaking in the egg as I'm mixing it together. So if you use blending method, maybe you should use half egg. Because I use the old egg and I just have this uh, liquid running in the, in the blender. So now line a baking tray with patient paper. I am going, I'm using my air fryer. And after lining the tray, I'm going to scoop using a spoon, a bowl full of, um, a spoonful of fish, of the fish mix. So you can see the way I'm using this spoon to try to form a kind of a round dough. If you want it to be perfect, you can just keep mixing. But for me, I just want some ball and it doesn't matter if it is perfectly round. As long as it's in a ball shape, that's okay by me. So I just keep doing this. You can see how very relaxing that is to make. So we're going to do this for the old fish mix that we have in the bowl. And that should give you about 9 or 10 fish ball. And now... I'm going to be baking this in my hair fryer. If you're using a, 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 a oven, you can pre it before starting. So I'm going to be baking this for 15 minutes and at 180 degree Celsius. So I'm going to set this on 15 and halfway, so I'm showing 20, halfway into the baking, I will come back and turn the fish. So that's the other side also bake. If I didn't line the air fryer, it will bake evenly. But because I've lined the uh, air fryer, it will obstruct the hair flow from the bottom of the of the tray. So that's why I'm going. Uh, so you can see now, I'm going to turn this. You can see how golden it looks. So when we turn this, the other side will also bake into a golden color and oh my my i think i'm going to be eating this with a avocado smoothie you can also use this fish ball in making your fish curry or something like that or some bolognese sauce whichever way you like to use meat ball you can use the fish ball in the same manner okay so it seems our fish ball is ready you can see it's not completely on zero so i exactly used the 15 minutes like i told you and now look at a beautiful fish bar see how good it looks so the next thing i will do is just to then cool this down on the rack but i think i'm going to be using my sieve my rack is currently occupied so i'm going to put this in the sieve to cool down and the fact that it doesn't require too much of ingredients makes me love it So I hope you enjoyed this uh, recipe. If you prepared this fish ball, please come back and write in the comment section if you enjoy it. And uh, I'm going to be sharing with you some of the other recipe that I really love on the keto diet. And until next time, bye.